Going across this, probably not the smartest. Making dinner in the parking lot that night, I reminisced how naive I was only one year ago to mountaineering. Not gonna lie, very sketchy. It's very icy. I picked a pretty bad route. I've only really had to have my ice axe out for the last 500 or so feet, but I'm taking it to the top because it's, it's sketch. But we're gonna wake up at four. We're gonna get on a snowmobile trail from there, cut northeast to the ski skin track. And then we're gonna walk up the spine of Mount Bailey Summit. It's better to go early than later right now because it's gonna be above freezing up there, which isn't good. I have the girlfriend checking the avalanche forecast and then we're gonna dig some pits. Your beard looks good, dude. It's really coming in. Four thirty. It was a kind of a cold night. Actually, I was really warm, but the outside of my car tells a different story. <laughs> We're gonna get going here in about twenty minutes. Wind slabs from a windy storm a couple days prior were the biggest concern in the avalanche report. My wonderful wife made me this. <laughs> What's that mean? Well, I think she made it for you. You but it means... son of a bitch! <laughs> we got some wind slabs here. That must have been some killer wind. Still in the trees, too. Above tree line, we started to see the harsh effects from the wind and wondered what conditions would look like near the summit. Solid tree. Ah. Another little Abbey crown. Where at? Straight. Under those cornices. Oh, yeah. You see that? Yeah. That middle looks pretty safe, though. We can get over to that middle chute and check that out. The far right one's got wind lip on it where that avalanche debris is. Definitely gonna have to pack the rest of that. Oh my God. No, dude, no, 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 no. Did it stop? Tell me it stopped, dude. That almost went all the way down there. Unbelievable. It turns out Brent was right. We should have came to a, a spot like this earlier. We're gonna cramp on up, boot cramp on, boot pack it for the rest of the summit and uh, see if we can get there. Next was deciding which route we wanted to take to the summit. Yeah. But we definitely know by looking at the other side, the other side of this is all pow, right? And this side is the ice side. Definitely plunge step this probably over. Going across this, probably not the smartest. We assessed both sides and decided that the wind slab side posed too much of a risk for avalanches. Yeah. Finally, we gained the ridge to the summit. Oh, 
successful summit in the books. We gotta get rolling. The above freezing temperatures made it imperative that we get down as quickly as possible. Now, the best part of the day. Keep going on this. Just keep going this way. That's it. This is a disaster. <laughs> Actually, most dangerous part of the day. Whoa! Ah. That right there is a look of a dejected man. We figured out why the first four and a half miles were so fast. And that's because we did absolutely zero vert to get there we thought that once we got on this we were gonna be sailing we are barely moving dude so just saw an instagram post and they said that a skier had triggered a wind slab at a 35 degree angle in central oregon which is pretty much exactly where we were. I'm super glad that we made the decision to not send the avalanche bowl today. And there was a couple reasons for that. One was because of the avalanche forecast. However, we didn't have service to actually view it. So we were kind of going off of what the report was a couple days ago. But we knew that there had been new wind slabs that had formed uh, through the really strong winds on Friday and also new snow. And as we got up there, one of the reasons we didn't go around the east side is because of how bad the wind slabs were and how much potential they had to trigger as we were going around that, which is why we went around the other side. Now, when we got up to the top, we basically made the decision together that we were not gonna send the avalanche bowl. We were gonna just kind of come down the bowls that we had came up. It seemed a lot more stable. And I just know that we made the correct call there. It was not worth riding 200 feet of powder to get choked in a in an avalanche and only have one person to try and rescue you so learned a lot today and i think this is just one more um thing that i will take with me in the mountains and have in my tool belt for my next adventure thanks so much for watching catch you with the next adventure